following illustration is based upon competition rules outlined in the International Association of Athletics Federation's competition rules for 2014 and 2015. It's intended to give you the general process and procedure for conducting a jump off, but may not cover all rules jurisdictions. See the appropriate rule book for clarifications or adjustments to this procedure. For reference, see the IAAF Competition Rules 2014-2015, Rule 181, beginning on page 188. In this scenario, four high jumpers have all cleared 1.88 meters. The bar progresses to 1.91 meters, then 194, and finally 197, at which point all competitors have accumulated three consecutive misses. We need to determine places and if there is a need for a jump off. First, we look at the last made height of each competitor. All four were successful at 1.88 meters. Our first tie-breaking criteria is the total number of misses at the tying height. As we can see, each competitor has one miss. Since each one has a miss at the tying height, we next look at the total number of misses during the competition, up to and including the tying height. As we can see, Dodge has three total misses while the others have only two. Based on our tie-breaking criteria, Dodge is awarded fourth place. Since we cannot break the other tie based on criteria, and it involves first place in the competition, we need to conduct a jump-off. Before we look at the jump-off procedure, let's first look at the rules. Competitors must jump at every height until a decision is reached, or until all the athletes involved decide not to jump further. This rule only applies in the IAAF and USATF competitions. In NCAA and National Federation competitions, all competitors must jump at every height, otherwise they forfeit any claim to a higher place. Each competitor has one attempt at each height. A competitor cannot pass an attempt. Competitors are credited with the highest height cleared throughout the competition, including the jump-off. If no decision is reached, the bar is raised if more than one is successful, or lowered if all fail, by the following intervals. To conduct the jump off, we return to the next tight in the progression after the one at which the tie occurred. Since the tie occurred at 1.88 meters, we will begin the jump off at 1.91 meters. In a jump off, each competitor is afforded one attempt at each height. After each competitor has taken their single attempt at 1.91 meters, all have missed. The jump off protocol requires that we lower the bar. Using the IAAF competition rules, We'll lower the bar to 1.89 meters, even though this was not in the progression leading to this point in the competition. We enter the next height of 1.89 meters on the score sheet. At the conclusion of jumping at 1.89 meters, competitors Allen and Brown are successful, and Campbell has missed. Campbell is eliminated from further jumping and is awarded third place. Since both Allen and Brown were successful, the bar is raised, in this case 2 centimeters, bringing us back to 1.91 meters. After completion of jumping at 1.91 meters, Allen misses and Brown is successful. Based on these results, Allen is awarded second place and Brown is awarded first place.